The Cincinnati Art Museum is showing off its newly renovated galleries that are part of the Cincinnati Wing. Curator Amy Dehan says for the first time since the Wing's debut in 2003, the art is displayed in chronological order to more fully tell the art history of the Queen City. And the newly renovated galleries tell the first part of that story. We will be opening these two galleries which have been closed um, for almost a year, making way for a number of uh, renovation projects throughout the art museum. These two galleries are our first galleries in the series of 15 galleries um, of the Cincinnati Wing. The new galleries cover the time period from the late 1700s through the Civil War era. We're um, including a lot of great new pieces um, in this particular installation things that are new acquisitions, but also things that have not been on view for quite some time. Um, I'm excited, we're including a lot of great examples of Cincinnati Silver um, that were first on view last summer in our Cincinnati Silver exhibition, but we've incorporated many of them here. Curator Dr. Julie Aronson shows off one of the new paintings in the gallery. It's a painting um, that is of Frederick Billiards who was an immigrant from Alsace-Lorraine, who settled here in Cincinnati and opened a brewery um, called the Lafayette Brewery, which you see pictured in the background of the painting. And the building still exists. It's standing on McMicken Avenue. Um, the painting is a wonderful example of American folk portraiture. The Cincinnati Wing is home to about 400 art pieces and has received national recognition as one of the first major art museum installations to focus exclusively on the artistic contributions and heritage of its own region. Melissa Neely reporting from the Cincinnati Art Museum.